Maple syrup, snow, the nicest people, the second largest country, beavers. These words all point to one amazing country, Canada. Now I could go on about the most interesting facts about this place, but there's more to it than what the internet lets on. From strange fossils to haunted finds, here are 20 unsettling discoveries in Canada that no one can explain. Number 20. The Screaming Tunnel The Screaming Tunnel isn't a tunnel, but a drainage passage to prevent the railway tracks above it from flooding. Since it was constructed in the early 1800s, this place is one of the country's oldest landmarks. Naturally, it's garnered a lot of intrigue and stories over the years, most of which are haunting and spine-chilling. It was said that this tunnel saw a young girl's tragic demise. Some stories claimed that the girl succumbed to flames in a nearby farmhouse fire, while others claimed that she was set ablaze by her father in a custody battle. Various versions of the story exist, but they all have the same chilling conclusion. The girl's agonizing screams echo eternally in the tunnel. The poor girl's screams bore fruit to this tunnel's name. It's said that if one stands at the tunnel's heart at midnight and lights a match, the flame will extinguish, replaced by the ghostly sound of the girl's screams. And while this story is shrouded in skepticism, locals around the area, especially teenagers, have used the tunnel as a place to test their courage. Add to that are ghost hunters who continue to flock to this tunnel in hopes of a chance encounter with the alleged ghost. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. 7,000-Year-Old Trove Nestled in the remote expanses of northwestern British Columbia is Mount Atziza. It has been long known to be a crucial hunting ground for the Talton people, who thrived in the region around 5000 BC. Recently, Archaeologists discovered artifacts that reveal a lot about these mysterious people. The melting ice brought back 7,000-year-old troves to the surface. Within the icy expanse of Canada were troves filled with birch bark containers, antler ice picks, bone-carved tools, and even a meticulously stitched boot. These artifacts, although mundane, revealed a lot about the people who once roamed the frosty expanse thousands of years ago. Number 18. Strange-looking dinosaur skull. This might not be unnerving, but archaeologists were shocked when they discovered this bizarre dinosaur fossil. This is the Pachyrhinosaurus, which literally translates to thick-nosed lizard discovered in Canada. Needless to say, its bizarre appearance was enough to baffle researchers. Experts believe this dinosaur roamed the landscapes of northwestern North America, particularly parts of Canada and Alaska from about 71 million to 67 million years ago, near the twilight of the Cretaceous period. This species was first unearthed in the late 1940s by Charles M. Sternberg in Alberta, Canada, and it immediately captured the attention of archaeologists because of how different its form is. Growing to lengths of about 20 to 26 feet, standing around 6 feet high and weighing as much as 2 to 3 tons, the Pachyrhinosaurus was among the heavyweights and was a formidable herbivore. Like herbivores today, this species is believed to have lived in herds, which not only offered protection from predators, but also hinted at complex social behaviors. Paleontologists speculate that these herds might have numbered hundreds or even thousands, which would have been a daunting sight for any predator. The diet of the Pachyrhinosaurus was also nothing unusual, which likely consisted of tough plant material such as palms and cycads which it could efficiently process using its beak and cheek teeth. Although it's been decades since we discovered its fossil, archaeologists continue to learn more about this bizarre creature. Number 17. A White Grizzly Bear Seasoned campers know what to do when they encounter a bear. There's a saying that goes, If it's black, fight back. If it's brown, get down. If it's white, good night. I've yet to encounter a bear, but this saying probably works. If it's a black bear, your best bet is to fight it off. If it's a brown bear, then you should probably lie down and play dead. But if it's white, which refers to polar bears, you should say your last words, because if this animal is chasing you, consider yourself doomed. But don't take this advice to heart. After all, there are times when grizzly bears are white. Just take a look at this fella that was spotted in Canada, particularly along the Trans-Canada Highway in 2023. From afar, it definitely looks like a polar bear, but as it turns out, 
It's a grizzly. Native Americans call white black bears spirit bears. But what about white grizzlies? These guys are so rare that there's really no lore surrounding them. This particular guy was named Nakoda by locals, an affectionate nickname for the animal. She amazed several drivers a handful of times over the past few years because of her eye-catching coat. If you live along the Canadian Rockies, there's a chance you'd spot this sweetheart walking along the road. If you do, then you might want to snap a photo or a clip. After all, this grizzly seems to have a talent for being a star on social media. Number 16. Ancient Tree You see, dinosaur fossils aren't the only things that can be found fossilized. Just take, for example, this tree, an ancient tree that dates back to 350 million years ago. This giant was discovered in New Brunswick in 2017 by archaeologists Olivia King and Matthew Stimson. This tree belongs to a species named Sanfordia collis densifolia. Standing a little taller than a human, these trees featured thin trunks topped with a quote-unquote huge toilet brush of leaves that spread 16 feet wide. The discovery of Sanfordia collis densifolia brings to light an experimental period in Earth's botanical history when evolution was more of a trial and error process. The era, known as Romer's Gap, characterized by sparse fossil records, showcases a period of extensive experimentation within the plant kingdom. These trees represent one of the many evolutionary experiments that, while successful for a time, did not survive in the long run. I guess even in ancient times, Canada already had pretty fauna. Number 15. The Ugwug Here's a creature that's said to reside in Canada. However, its existence is steeped in mystery. The existence of this creature is rooted within the vibrant city of St. John, New Brunswick. Known as the Ugwug, this mythical sea creature is believed to reside in the water of the reversing falls. It's as monstrous as it sounds. The Ugwug is described as a combination of a salmon and a seal. That might not sound too bad, but wait until you see its photo. The story goes that this creature can only be seen when the moon is full and the tide is out. It has big red eyes, as well as a massive appetite. Now if you really think about it, the St. John River is the perfect habitat for such a monstrous creature, with water rushing through the narrow rock gorge at a staggering 100,000 tons per second. The earliest sighting or record about this creature can be traced back to the St. John Free Public Library, where a single card reads, quote, Ugwug, a mythological creature resembling both a salmon and seal which inhabits the waters near the reversing falls. Ugwug purportedly means the friendly animal in Eskimo, end of quote. These creatures are allegedly amphibious, and yet, despite their ability to move on land and in water, they're rarely seen by people. For this reason, there are claims that the Ugwug isn't a real creature, but rather an imaginary being that was cooked up in the 50s to amuse tourists. Regardless, the Ugwug is renowned to this day. Number 14. Water that could host alien life Imagine delving deep beneath the Earth's surface, far below the bustling life in familiar terrains of Canada, only to discover a realm so ancient and isolated that it might as well be from another world. Scientists found this in the depths of a mine in northern Ontario, water that has remained untouched for possibly billions of years. This is akin to a liquid time capsule that could harbor life forms so distinct from our surface-dwelling organisms that they might as well be considered alien. This ancient water, found 1.49 miles underground, is not just remarkable for its age, but for the potential it holds in understanding life's resilience and adaptability. The environment in which this water exists is extreme by any standard, with high pressures, no sunlight, and a chemical makeup vastly different from the surface water we're familiar with. Yet, the possibility that microbial life could exist in such conditions expands our understanding of where life can thrive, both on Earth and possibly on other planets with the same harsh environment as the frozen areas of Canada. Number 13. The Horrors of the Banff Springs Hotel Nestled within the heart of Banff National Park is the Banff Springs Hotel, which some of you might have already visited. The hotel's inception is deeply tied to the vision of William Cornelius Van Horn, general manager of the Canadian Pacific Railway, who in the late 19th century recognized the potential of the Canadian Rockies to attract tourists. The discovery of natural mineral springs by railway workers in 1883 provided the perfect opportunity for Van Horn to realize his vision of creating a luxurious retreat 
encouraging travel along the CPR. The Banff Springs Hotel was thus born, with construction commencing in 1886 and opening its doors in 1888, rapidly establishing itself as one of North America's premier mountain resorts. It hosted several renowned guests throughout history, including King George VI, as well as the late Queen Mother Elizabeth. The architectural splendor of the Banff Springs Hotel is unmatched, drawing inspiration from Scottish baronial castles and integrating elements of the arts and crafts movement. The original structure, designed by American architect Bruce Price, was a marvel of its time, featuring a five-story wooden frame construction harmoniously blending with its natural surroundings. This early iteration of the hotel boasted luxurious amenities and accommodations for around 280 guests, set against the backdrop of the majestic Canadian Rockies. However, the Banff Springs is also renowned for something else, stories of horror. One of the most famous ghost stories from the Banff Springs Hotel is that of the Ghost Bride, a tragic figure from the late 1920s. Legend has it that during her wedding at the hotel, the bride's gown caught fire from a candle as she descended one of the marble staircases. In a panic, she tripped, fell, and met her untimely death. Since then, guests and staff have reported seeing a veiled figure moving up and down the stairs or dancing alone in the ballroom, seemingly stuck in her tragic moment forever. Another ghostly tale involves Room 873, where a family met a grim end. The story goes that a man murdered his wife and daughter in this room before taking his own life. Subsequent guests reported being awoken by screams and finding unexplainable bloody fingerprints on the mirror. The hotel's response was to seal off the room, yet whispers of its haunting continued to intrigue visitors. The room, however, has been reportedly made inaccessible, covered up, and is no longer part of the hotel's guest room lineup. Well, isn't that spooky? Have any of you experienced any paranormal activity while staying at this hotel? If so, let me know in the comments down below. Number 12. A Heartbeat from a Distant Galaxy Now this discovery isn't exactly in Canada, but something that astronomers from MIT and institutions across the country found. In 2022, astronomers from the country detected what can only be described as a persistent heartbeat pulsing from a distant galaxy billions of light years away from Earth. Now, before you think we finally discovered life in the universe, don't get me wrong, this heartbeat isn't an actual heartbeat, but rather a persistent explosion. This remarkable signal, officially designated as FRB 20191221A, stands out not just for its distance, but for the regularity of its emissions echoing across the cosmos with a precision that's both intriguing and baffling to scientists. This heartbeat-like signal is theorized to originate from a highly magnetized form of neutron star, known as a magnetar or a radio pulsar. Both are incredibly dense remnants of collapsed stars, spinning rapidly and emitting beams of electromagnetic radiation reminiscent of a lighthouse. Now what's bizarre about this is the fact that it's emitting beams of electromagnetic radiation over a million times brighter than any similar phenomena observed within our own galaxy. The detection of FRB 20191221A with its clear periodic peaks, described vividly as boom, boom, boom by researcher Danielle Machili, marks a significant first in the study of cosmic phenomena, and we're yet to learn more about it. Although over two years have passed, we have yet to learn everything about this strange phenomenon. Number 11. Nahani National Park Reserve Nahani National Park Reserve is often called the Valley of the Headless Men for good reason. The park's name, Nahani, originates from the Dean language, meaning the river of the land of the Naha people, a warlike tribe that mysteriously vanished. The Dean people, who have lived in the surrounding areas for centuries, have passed down tales of this vanished tribe through generations. The park gained notoriety in the early 20th century by discovering the headless bodies of prospectors who ventured into its depths in search of gold. Among them were the McLeod brothers, whose decapitated skeletons were found beside the Nahani River in 1908, sparking rumors of a cursed valley haunted by headhunters or supernatural forces. This was followed by several more unexplained deaths and disappearances, including that of Martin Jorgensen whose headless remains were found next to his burnt-down cabin in 1917. These incidents have fueled speculation and theories ranging from rival prospectors to supernatural entities inhabiting the valley. Despite its eerie reputation, Nahani National Park Reserve is a place of breathtaking natural beauty, 
designated as one of the first UNESCO World Heritage Sites in 1978, it boasts deep canyons, hot springs, epic whitewater, and a massive waterfall, making it an impressive destination for adventurers and nature lovers. The park's isolation has helped preserve its diverse wildlife, including giant grizzly bears and timber wolves, and maintain its status as a largely untouched wilderness. The legends and mysteries of Nahani have not only captivated explorers and filmmakers, but also hold a sacred place in Canadian folklore. And while the truth behind the tales may never be fully uncovered, the Valley of the Headless Men will forever remain a significant location in the country. Number 10. 890 million year old sponge like fossils. In northwestern Canada, researchers have discovered what may be the Earth's oldest known animal. Yes, you heard that right the oldest animal in the world. And it's probably not like anything you imagine it's a sponge. This sponge-like fossil is believed to be over 350 million years old. This finding, if confirmed, could significantly alter our understanding of the timeline of animal life on Earth. The fossil, found in the Canadian Arctic, challenges the conventional timeline that places the emergence of most major animal groups during the Cambrian explosion 541 million years ago. Who knows? Perhaps in years to come, older fossils will reveal themselves from other parts of the world. Number 9. 14,000-year-old village. In a remote island of British Columbia, Canada, archaeologists stumbled upon a 14,000-year-old village, marking one of North America's oldest known settlements. This remarkable find on Trique Island not only predates Egypt's pyramids, but also corroborates the Hiltzuk Nation's oral tales of ancient coastal communities. How cool is that? According to local oral traditions, Stories and other practices should be strictly taught and carried out by the young. That's how these people manage to keep their stories and prayers alive, by memorizing each important passageway word for word until the time that it's set to be passed down to the younger generation. Number 8. Prehistoric Baby Bird In 2017, researchers were blessed by an incredibly well-preserved remains of a bird encased in amber. This species was believed to have gone extinct approximately 65 million years ago, and its appearance was definitely unexpected. Aside from being among the oldest, it was also the most complete fossil of a baby bird to be recovered from the Cretaceous period. Using samples from the preserved amber, scientists hoped to learn more about this creature. In fact, with the advancements in our technology, researchers could even create a rendering of how the chick looked when it was still alive. Number 7. Haunted History of Bastion Square Originally the site of the Hudson's Bay's company's fort, the Bastion Square is transformed from a bustling center of commerce into a hub of spectral activity, earning it the title Heart of Haunted Victoria. The square and its surrounding buildings are steeped in lore, with nearly every structure rumored to harbor its own ghostly inhabitants. One of the most chilling tales involved Wind Cries Mary, a restaurant known not just for its rustic cuisine, but also for its resident spirits, Brady and Lady Churchill, also known as Charlotte. Their story is a tragic one of love and loss, culminating in Brady's untimely death after a violent altercation. It's said that their spirits linger, marked by the scent of cigar smoke and heavy perfume. The former Maritime Museum, once Victoria's courthouse and the site of the city gallows, is another focal point of paranormal activity. The ghost of Sir Matthew Bailey Begby, the notorious hanging judge is said to glide down its staircase, his presence a stark reminder of the square's grim history of justice and execution. Garrick's Head Pub, a fixture in Bastion Square since 1867, is rumored to be haunted by the ghost of Michael Powers, a former owner who met a mysterious end. The pub's cozy fireplace seems to be a favorite haunt for Powers' spirit, seen by patrons on cold winter nights. Not far from the square, Helmkin Alley holds its own dark secrets. Once part of the city jail, the alley is rumored to be haunted by the spirit of a prisoner beaten to death by a guard in the 1850s. Visitors have reported eerie sounds of chains and sightings of a shackled apparition stalking the alleyway. Each building and alleyway in Bastion Square carries a piece of Victoria's haunted history, making it a magnet for those drawn to the paranormal. If any of you have experienced visiting this place, feel free to talk about your experience good or bad, in the comments down below. Who knows? Perhaps a few of you have had the chance to visit this place before. Number 6. Indigenous Remains Found in Canada In Canada, 
A series of heart-wrenching discoveries have brought to light the dark legacy of the residential school system recently. Ground-penetrating radar has revealed hundreds of unmarked graves at former boarding schools for indigenous children. These findings, including 182 graves near St. Eugene's Mission School in British Columbia, underscore the tragic impact of a system that aimed to assimilate indigenous children into Canadian society, operating from the late 1800s until the 1990s. The discoveries have sparked renewed grief among indigenous communities and calls for accountability and a thorough investigation into the residential school system's legacy. Unfortunately, it seems like there's no end to history's dark chapters. Number 5. Hair Freezing Contest Now here's an unexplainable tradition carried out in Canada. Some of you might wonder why or how exactly it became a thing. One word. Fun. You see, in the heart of Canada's frosty Yukon Territory, an event as unique as it is chilly captures the imaginations and daring spirits of participants from around the globe. The International Hair Freezing Contest Hosted by the Eclipse Nordic Hot Springs, formerly known as Takini Hot Springs, this whimsical competition has firmly established itself as one of Canada's quirky traditions since its inception in 2011. The contest unfolds in the picturesque setting of Whitehorse, Yukon, where winter temperatures often plunge below negative 20 degrees Celsius, or negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit, creating the perfect natural environment for this frosty challenge. Participants submerge themselves in the hot spring steamy waters, which maintain a cozy temperature of around 40 degrees Celsius, or 104 degrees Fahrenheit, and then expose their wet hair to the freezing air. Within minutes, their hair freezes, allowing them to sculpt it into various shapes and forms, from icy spikes to frozen waves and everything in between. The final frozen hairstyles represent their entries into the competition. Initially, the hair freezing contest started with humble beginnings, offering small prize money and attracting just a few dozen participants. However, a viral image in 2015 catapulted the event into international fame, significantly boosting its profile and participation rates. Nowadays, competitors vie for substantial prizes across several categories, including Best Male, Best Female, Best Group, Nongshim's People's Choice, Tim Horton's Most Creative, and a newly introduced category, Best Frozen Facial Hair, sponsored by Air North. Winners in each category walk away with $2,000. So is this something you think you'd be interested in? Well, if I find myself in Yukon, I'll definitely give it a try. Number 4. Woolly Mammoth Bones In the rugged, frost-kissed landscapes of Canada's Yukon, a group of unsuspecting gold miners stumbled upon something worth its weight in gold a rare trove of woolly mammoth bones hidden beneath the earth for 30,000 years. The discovery occurred at the Little Flake Mine, where miners, expecting nothing more than the glint of gold, unearthed something far more remarkable. Among the finds was an enormous tusk, so large and heavy that it captured the miners' imagination and respect for the mammoth creatures that once roamed the northern wilds of prehistoric Canada. Among the remains discovered were ribs, teeth, and more hinting at the near-complete skeletons of three mammoths believed to be from the same family or herd. The Yukon government's head paleontologist, Grant Zazula, was brought in to examine the findings. His initial assessment suggested the presence of a full-grown mammoth, a younger adult, and a juvenile, possibly marking a family or herd that met their end together. This assumption opened up a myriad of questions and possibilities about their lives and the circumstances of their demise. This discovery tells us about these colossal creatures, with their thick shaggy coats and towering tusks that wandered across the Bering Land Bridge into North America. They thrived in the cold, dry, and likely treeless environments of the time, only to vanish about 10,000 years ago, likely due to environmental changes and human hunting. This find in the Yukon is part of a larger narrative, including numerous instances where miners and hunters across North America have unearthed the remains of these Ice Age giants. From complete skulls to femur bones found in rivers, each discovery adds a piece to the puzzle of the woolly mammoth's history on this continent. Number 3. Dungarvan Whooper Perhaps this is something you've heard about before, especially if you're from Canada, the Dungarvan Whooper. This entity is mainly rooted in the dense forests of New Brunswick. This legend dates back to the late 19th century and tells the story of a young Irish cook named Ryan who met a tragic end in a lumber camp near the Dungarvan River. The story goes that Ryan, 
known for his loud-spirited whoops that would awaken the lumberjacks each morning, brought with him to the camp a money belt filled with his savings. Unfortunately, his wealth became his undoing when he was left alone with the camp boss, a respected but mysterious figure. Upon the lumberjack's return, they found Ryan lifeless, his money belt missing, and the camp boss offering a feeble explanation for his sudden death. As the story unfolds, a storm prevents the men from leaving the camp, forcing them to bury Ryan in a shallow grave within the forest. That night, and for many after that, dreadful whoops and screams filled the air, driving the men from the camp in fear, never to return. These eerie sounds, believed to be Ryan's restless spirit, continued until a priest from Renu conducted an exorcism at the site, which some say quelled the ghostly disturbances. However, others claimed the whoops of the Dungarban Whooper can still be heard today. The legend of the Dungarban Whooper has permeated local culture, inspiring songs, plays, and even a passenger train named in its honor. Number 2. Ice Age Wolf Pup In 2016, a gold miner in Yukon, Canada discovered a mummified wolf pup from the Ice Age named Jure by the local Trondek Wetchen people. This pup, found to have a fish-heavy diet, suggests early hunting behaviors similar to modern wolves. Jure's genetic analysis reveals connections to ancient wolves in Eurasia and Alaska, differing from Yukon's current wolf population. This rare find, showcasing exceptional preservation due to the permafrost, provides invaluable insights into Ice Age ecology, now displayed at the Yukon Beringia Interpretive Center. But how do Ice Age wolves differ from the ones we see today? Ice Age wolves, ancestors to today's modern wolves, roamed the Earth during the Pleistocene epoch. These wolves were adapted to cold environments, with features that helped them survive in harsh, icy landscapes. They were likely larger and more robust than most modern wolves with powerful jaws and teeth designed for taking down large prey, such as woolly mammoths and bison. If it weren't for the preserved remains we uncover today, we wouldn't know anything about these astounding creatures. And now, it's time for today's topic. Scientists in Canada were shocked when they found this 76 million year old dragon skeleton. As you've seen in this video, Canada has a plethora of preserved remains. And that's all thanks to nature which has been storing secrets from millennia past in its permafrost and sediment layers. With each set of fossil or preserved remains that we discover, we change our understanding of our planet's fauna. And sometimes, these discoveries completely rewrite what we know about the region. Take for instance this discovery. Scientists in Canada allegedly discovered a bizarre dragon-like skeleton encased in ice. According to self-proclaimed eyewitnesses, the skeleton can be traced back to 76 million years ago. Now, it might sound astounding or something out of a sci-fi movie, but in reality, this alleged dragon skull isn't a real dragon, or at least, definitely not the one you read about in novels. Instead, this creature is believed to be a dinosaur, or perhaps a species closely related to them. Its incomplete remains are believed to be why it looks like a dragon. However, in reality, we're yet to find actual proof of these fire-breathing monsters. Number 1. Oldest Known Octopus Enough about the largest octopus in the world. Recently, archaeologists in Canada discovered the oldest known octopus. This creature is the oldest known ancestor of modern octopuses, dating back 328 million years, and was discovered and was named Solipsomopodi by Denny. This discovery, made in Montana's Bear Gulch Limestone Formation and housed at the Royal Ontario Museum, pushes back the timeline for the appearance of vampyropods, which include octopuses and vampire squids, by about 82 million years. Remarkably, this fossil retains its ten arms with suckers, providing direct evidence that ancient cephalopods originally had ten arms, shedding light on their evolutionary journey. You see, this creature was so old that it even predated the dinosaurs. How cool is that? Now I'm curious if any of you guys have gone to Canada. Perhaps some of you guys might even be watching this video from the country right now. If so, feel free to share the bizarre things you found or experienced in the country. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.